All right, we're going to start here. I didn't do a walk-in today either because there were people in line. We're going to start in the dishes and plates and bowls. This is a pretty color. They're plastic, $1.09 each. Uh, see if there's anything that stands out here. I put a couple things in my cart, not much. A couple mugs and something else I'm thinking about. Here is some Ray Dunn. So the guac is... 309 and the season and herbs are 209 each so these are usually something like this would have been 109 um i'll show you when we get to the knickknacks aisle they're color blocking again like they did when the big shots were here so i guess they got in trouble those are neat plates let's see what these look like let's see oh look at these like Fabergé eggs. Look at these. Gold Buffet Royal Gallery. Made in Sri Lanka for Federated Department Stores for 309 each. Very pretty. There's four of them. Let's see what we got here. We got the green one. We've got the gold one. The red and gold. We've got black and gold nice border on these we've got blue and gold and we've got a plain one <laughs> that one's plain for some reason um, these are cool I like these these are really neat oh they're very heavy too let me see if I can lift them they are what are they century they're made by century so let's put these back up here where they were Okay, and let's see what else might be here. That's still here. I like that with the two different colors. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's another apple pie holder. These look like the old milk glass mixing bowls. 209. And the big one is... Well, I have to get a price up front. What's the brand on the? They're not marked... So I don't know if I don't know if they're newer or older. This one feels older, and it's thicker. That one you can see through. Um, it's got the same tight texture bottom. I'll leave them. Too much to mess with. You got to find a specialized person that's actually looking for those. Those are pretty. Um, those are plastic. The Paisleys. I'm not going to show you the pots and pans again because it's just nothing interesting. And we'll go down here and more bowls, cups and saucers, and what else do we have here? Uh, these pretty bowls, nice colors to them. And then there's two of these pet bowls, 209 each. They're very cute. I don't need any more pet bowls. I got pet bowls coming out the wazoo. And I don't see anything else here to show you guys. So I think we're going to move on to another aisle. Okay, we may as well start with the metal aisle. Let's see what we have here. I have a lot of uh, coffee travel mugs. That's still here, the tree uh, candle holder. There's a punch tin here, tray. This is a nice piece of wall art right there. Sun-made raisins tin. And it's got a smelly candle in it. And that is 209. It's cute though. It's cute. We have an old butter dish. More coffee travel cups. We have a vent cover. Uh, that's a cool basket right there. How much are you? 309 for the egg basket. I might get that. I'll put that. I'll put that under the cart. That's a possibility. There's an earring holder, a post earring holder. How much are you? Oh, nine. But I don't keep my earrings out like that. And I don't, I'm not crazy about the shape. It doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, 
yeah. After what they did to my booth, I'm not really keen on getting jewelry displays. <laughs> Here's a metal, heavy metal cross. It's heavy. And that is 409. There's some tongs. There's a bigger cross, a metal cross. And the waste basket. This is some kind of woven design that they did. They made a tray out of. Um, that's kind of cool. I like how they did that design. That's really neat. Um, it's really cheaply, the, the edge is really cheaply done, but it's a cool piece. I like it. We're burning a candle. It'll look pretty when it's burning. Um, that looks like a giant chess piece. What else is here? Gotta wait a while for them to bring some stuff out. I did take a few pictures. I saw you probably I put them in the beginning, I believe. I took a few pictures of some stuff before somebody grabbed them and bought them. That's a nice wall pocket. That's pretty. Fondue pot. Who remembers those? Did they bring them back? I don't know. They might have brought them back. This is a pretty copper and brass. Uh, whatever it is. <laughs> There's a nice pewter piece. 209. Sturdy. Baby shaker. Baby shaker. Uh, more travel mugs. Okay. I'm going to switch over to the mug and glasses side. Just wanted to show this. Birmingham Imperial Clockworks. Um, they're all rusted, but they're crystal. It's the clock and it's the it's the jewelry box. I can't do it with one hand. There we go. It's the jewelry box. 509, but it's all rusted, so we're gonna leave that. Alright, now we're in the glasses and mugs and stuff like that. Cups. Uh, I used to have somebody that bought religious inspired stuff, and I have there's a couple religious inspired mugs there, but I don't know if uh if that person's going to come back or not. So, again, it's hard to buy for people when you don't know if they're going to be around or not. But this one has the Serenity Prayer on it. It's a nice mug. Um, $1.39 for that. And then there was... Oh, that's Friendship. What is this? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. It was another couple religious ones here. Maybe somebody grabbed them already. It is senior day today, by the way. Who remembers these? The glasses that were cars. Those are neat. But nobody buys them anymore. I can't even show them to you because the cars are facing inward. 409 for the five of them. That's cool, but nobody's really into collecting that type of car. I still have some of these at home. Dollar nine for that cactus glass, and let's see what else is here. More mugs, more mugs, more mugs. Shot glasses, but they're nothing to speak of here. These have a nice texture to them here too. I like those. Those are a dollar nine each. Let's move on here. Those blue glasses are pretty up on the end there. I forgot to show them. That's nice. I wish there were two of those. And we have more mugs. And more mugs. And more mugs. These are adorable. Right here. I would probably drop them if I tried drinking out of those. Ooh, that one has a nice speckled look. Santa Claus. Push to the back there. We have, uh, oh, look at the Canada mug. Look at the Canada mug. Canadian dollar. That's pretty neat. That looks older, too. That's pretty interesting. Huh. I might get that. We'll see. We'll see. There was another Canada one here the other day, but it wasn't spectacular. There was nothing to talk about. More mugs down here. That's cute. The teacher teacher mug with the crayon as the handle. 
It's kind of huge. And the Marta one is still here. The Citadel. Malta. Malta. It's a very pretty It's Knights of Malta. It's pretty. I don't know. I don't think I have anybody that's into Malta. Oh, there's another Canada. Right there. Say hi. Okay. Kentucky Derby glass is still there. And we'll look at the rest of these. That's a pretty blue mug there. Some picture is still here. I'm not seeing anything fantastic here either. I did grab a couple. So, trying to go slow. What is this? Retirement mug. The IOD is still here because I don't even know what it means. And I'm just not interested in finding out. So, all right, we're going to leave this. We're going to leave this aisle here. And we are going. And he just put this huge cross out. Huge cross, like four feet. Just want to show you. Just want to show you. Okay. Fabric's looking quite empty. <laughs> Fabric and pillows are looking quite empty. I'll show you over here, too. It's getting quite empty. So, let's see what we have here. These look like macarons. And you know, you can use a sheet for, uh, what is this? That looks very 70s pillowcases. They're pretty. But they have to have the matching stuff to them. It's very particular. This looks like, uh, I don't know, something with fish on it. I'm, I'm thinking it's got fish on it. Not sure. Not sure. Uh, Spider-Man's still here. Uh, this one has a bunch of doggies on it. And let's mosey on over. Close your eyes because we're moving over to the other part. Moving over to the other part. Oh, we got some hounds too here. And not really seeing much here. It looks like it might be a Minnie Mouse or something, bows. That's a cool pattern. Nothing I want to bring to my craft sales. So, not much here. Not much here to choose from. Okay, on to the next. I showed this earlier um, in a picture, but it would be 20% off of $2.99, so it would be $6 off. It would be $24. Um, beautiful lamp, but um, it is quite jiggly. It does have the, this thing still on it, too, which is great. Um, it's got the old plug, and uh, I just don't want to mess with it, not with the way people are in my booth. They'll probably break it, but it's very, very pretty. It's a very, very pretty piece. Very nice. Wanted to share it. Okay, it's still too busy here in the knickknack aisle, but I'm showing you I'm picking these up. They are skull glasses. You see how the skull is blown into the glass, pressed into the glass. Uh, there are two, so I'm going to get them. Let me turn them around and show you. Isn't that awesome? I also showed this earlier in a picture. It's a Peanuts Snoopy Woodstock clock, but there's there's no meat on the bone for me. They want $11 for this, so it's going to stay here. I'm sure somebody will pick it up that loves it, but there you go. This is pretty. But it's flashed, and you can see some of the flashings coming off in chips. That would have been nice if it was real glass, though. Well, not real glass. Real colored glass. All right. I'll show you this aisle eventually. All right, I have a moment to show you here, but um, they did go back to... They're trying to color block, but it's not working very well. Um, they got rid of a lot of stuff here. Um, let me move slow on this side here. This is all the clear glass, and then it moves into white, 
and then it moves into yellow. Um, but they did get rid of a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna sh I'm gonna start showing you here on this side some stuff that they have. The little owl's still here. He's not priced yet. Here's a cute little puppy dog. This is a Pampered Chef for $2.24. I don't really pick them up. We have some shells. We have a really cute canister with a raccoon. He's adorable. $3.09. He would normally be $1.09. These are all a set of boxes, a set of four boxes. Bits and pieces are still there. And the broken piece is still here. This is an elephant wall piece, wall shell, whatever you want to call it. Um, here's some fake cheese, some fake blue cheese. And I like this votive holder, it's pretty nice. Very heavy. This is a cactus, cactus dish for 109. Here somebody attempted to make one of those drink the mugs that you wrap your hand inside like that. I can't do it because I'm holding the phone with my right hand, but um, they tried. Oh man, this thing must weigh like 10 pounds. <laughs> that is one thick mug. <laughs> um, some green glass. And let's see what else we have here. Cute uh, scarecrow with pumpkins. I think he's cute. He's like 3D and he's already chipped. So we won't worry about that. It's a snow globe. And this has been around a while. It keeps chipping more and more every time I see it. Here are some corn on the cob holders for $3.09. Teddy bear cookie jar. Well, that's interesting. This this bottle here, it's iridescent. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? 309 for that. Um, it's a newer bottle, it's not an old bottle. There's another piece of green glass up there. Okay, this was really nice, but it has a crack going down the entire part of it, and it was originally small blue decorative vase for 325. And it's 209. It is signed by the artist, but it is damaged, so we're not going to worry about that. And oh, there's a giant egg in a nest. I think it might have had a lid at one time or something on it. Uh, there is a lighthouse, St. Nicholas Square lighthouse globe. There, a lot of decorative stuff. Those birds I took a picture of earlier. And we're gonna swing around, so hold your britches. There we go. And we have a bowl of shells, some dolls, the pumpkin face guy still here. We got more dolls up here. Canisters, those are a nice set if I didn't have any. Those are pretty cool. They got that retro look to them. Uh, this piggy, but he's I think he was on a pole or something, but he's very heavy resin. Very, very heavy resin. I wouldn't trust shipping him. He's He's got a lot of weight. For what he looks like, he's heavier than he looks. But he's cute. There's some little bowls and such. More shells. Um, there was a bag of fruit in that side we just did, but now it's gone, so I guess somebody picked the bag of fruit up. Here's a trifle bowl with some fake fruit in it and what else can I show you little flamingo tin uh, this is precious moments for June little box I don't really do that well with precious moments so we're gonna leave that behind I did get some things I did get some things you'll see later um, that's one of those I forget what they call them. My brain's not fully functioning yet today. My coffee has not uh, absorbed into my system. Uh, that's weird. What does that look like to you guys? <laughs> um, okay. That's very interesting. Something, something of the source. 
Uh, yes, that's what you know what it looks like. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. And it's from Ikea. That's interesting. That's very strange. I have to research that because that's just so bizarre. <laughs> the things they make. And somebody apparently bought it because it ended up here. Okay, so that's it here for the knickknack aisle. Here's some candle holders. And people buy vases here all the time. Vases and totes. This might be a Costa Boda piece right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'll let somebody else have it. Oh, I thought that was a ring holder down there. And we're going to move on. It's getting really packed in here. It's getting really hot in here. It's noisy in here and everything. So, And the wedding cake topper's still here with the doves. That's a shame. That's sad that that's here. Okay, I'll be back. All right, we're here in the wood while we can. I don't know if I showed it to you or not, but um, there's still poo on the shelf. He's been here so long. He's been here so long. Here is a space unicorn. Oh, look at this. It's rainbow colored and it's a letter R. Hmm, I might pick that up for somebody. I might pick that up for somebody. Uh, not much here. There's a whale coat rack there. The cell phone glass things are still here and I'm just not seeing anything good here to show you guys who remembers making these with the decoupage that's pretty cool that's an oldie and horsies this is pretty that's pretty what is this? Aww. I guess you put a light behind it. It's wood. That's really cute. This wooden ship, this would de get destroyed. Oh, I guess it had a light. Do it yourself wood decor. That's really cute though. I don't know. We might put that in. Let's just put it in the card for now. I got some maybes. So we'll see. Cross. They emptied this out too, so I'm not going to see much unless they bring some stuff out. That's a big, big tote there, big wooden box. All right, and I'm going to move you around slowly here, and I'm going to show you the baskets, which are baskets. They're baskets. Well, that's cool sprig with the pine cones on it and just give you an overview of the baskets mishmash is the most busiest aisle here today that looks like an old bowl huh the chips on it or they're making it look old pottery barn for 309 but it actually does have real i don't know if it's made to look like that or not but that's too big for me to mess with, but that's a good price for a Pottery Barn bowl, I'm guessing. All right. So I wanted to share this. This is a really nice Polar Bear plush. Uh, Discovery Channel made it. It's 309, but really, really well made. Very nice. I just wanted to show you guys. It's really cute. I'm not getting them though. Okay, we're finally in the mishmash here. We got diapers, we got craft stuff, we've got tarts, and we've got bath fizzies and ink. And oh, look at that. Look at that banner. Cat pumpkin window cover. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Look at the, the little uh, swimming fins. And. Paper clips and st how much are staples? Dollar nine. I'm getting low on staples, but I don't even know how much they are new because I've had so many packed away. But I'm using them now. Oh, what are you? You are a royalties luxu luxurious soaps. 
Okay, put that in the cart. That's neat. We have unicorn horns. Magic swirl color rule, uh, colors. Pictionary air. Toner cartridge. Uh, what are these? I don't know what those are. Mm, no. You gotta dig. You gotta dig in these. There's a makeup brush. You gotta dig to find the deals. But sometimes you dig and you get mysterious substances on you. <laughs> this part is like being in the bins. There's those masks with the uh, sugar skulls on them. And let's see. Uh, Febreze something. Okay, what is that? What is that in there? That is, oh, used makeup. Gross. Just gross. And, of course, we have our, our what, everybody? Hair. We have hair. Hair and diapers. Never fails. Uh, red pens. Too bad they want black pens. Because I need black pens. There's a beauty care kit. And, ooh, it was used. We got golf balls. And post-it sort of thingies, a lot of filler paper, and some more hair, gotta have more hair, stick-on letters, vent covers, let's see, we got some gloves, now I get these, um, they're small, they're not going to fit me. I get these when I work on my car, when I work outside, and you can just dispose of them. But I don't think these are gonna, I don't think they're gonna fit me. And gemology. Oh, this is when everybody, remember that fad when everybody was just bedazzling their phone covers? Remember those days? They were jeweled encrusted phone covers. Uh, some ribbon, some cards, a stapler. Um, thermo scan. There's some more scrap. I don't need scrapbooking stuff. If I didn't have any, I'd be picking some up, but I don't need any. So, this is good for making mandelas with. Dollar nine for that, but it's all messed up. Sorry, I gotta move my cart, guys. Um, more hair. More hair. And more scrapbooking oh how cute is that the camping one look at that the sleeping bag the oars the marshmallows on the sticks and the canoe that is so oh summer camp it's a summer camp theme that's what it is and there's more people coming in here so i don't know if we're going to make it to the end of the row or not we'll try we'll try the jewelry box is still here it's very pretty the western theme flag is still here. We have some stamps. Yeah, more hair. And I uh, don't know what that is. Uh, Betty Boop. Betty Boop body lotion. And this is what is this? Some kind of loom, rainbow loom. With these little things. That's interesting. 109 for that. But I'm not going to get it. We got more hair. That's the, the pretty one. I was going to get it to make the play doll and use it as hair. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Um, 209. I guess he, he's a play. Uh, we'll put him in the cart anyway. He's adorable. And we'll see what's in here. The spiders. Valentine's. More scrapbooking stuff more diapers we're trying to make it down the, the rest of the aisle finally guys I come here four times um, one pattern left out of all those patterns that were here last time then we have uh, that's plastic cute little globe with a cake in it these are these look like some old candles 
These look like some old candles, and I'm not messing with them this time of year. That's for sure. 409 for those. Okay, we got a wee. We got a wee. And there's another pattern there. And then we have more binders. I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, it's a drainage bag. Everybody needs a drainage bag in their life. Okay. What are those? Unicorn straws. Those are interesting. Okay, there's more patterns showing up here, too. Uh, is that a pumpkin? What is that? Uh, it's a pumpkin cookie cutter. Little shot glasses. And this place is a mess. People just dropping stuff all over the floor. Oh, a boppy baby carrier. And I think that's the one that was too small for me. Tiger tree vowel game. There's some weights. Oh, there's some weights, but there's no price on the weights. So those get to stay here. And more hair. And masks. And stampers. And crayons. We're almost to the end. Yay, we're almost to the end. We have these. Okay, let's see if these are... Sorry for that sound. Uh, World of Dinosaurs. We have these. Somebody put them here. 109 each. Sometimes these are sterling. So I'm going to dig them out. And we're going to look at them with the... Whoops. I'll get that one a second. There's only three. There's only three, but we're going to check them out. Um, here's some melted candles. <laughs> some huggies. And let me see if the fourth... Let's see if the fourth coaster is here when I get off of here. But I'll take them. Oh, more candles. More candles. And a nice fan because it's very hot in here. Uh, I think that's it for the mishmash for today, guys. Let me see if the fourth coaster is here and I'm going to take a look at them. All right, I just checked with my loop. They are sterling. So I'm getting these. Even though they're $1.09 each, it'd be 20% off. That's a lot of sterling right there. So they are going somewhere in the cart here. I do have some stuff to show you. I picked this up for myself. It's uh, rock specimens in a case. And it's got a sliding glass front on it. It's uh, $7.09, but 20% off. So uh, yes, that's for me. That is for me. That's well worth it. So here's the like tote bags and backpacks and such. And, um, oops, sorry, guys, it's just crazy here. And, oh, we have a nice tie-dye one. Uh, Puma. Puma. We have one with sunflowers. Uh, we have a very dirty Vera bag that's still here. Look at this, says Jerusalem on it. Isn't that pretty? That's a nice, I like the trim that they use for the handle. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, nothing here that I want to grab. No, not really. But I just wanted to show you guys. I looked at the purses too. There wasn't anything. What are you? What are you? Who are you? Mm, it's got peacock feathers as a... Oh, look at the handle. Never mind. Let's see what else I can show you today. This is interesting. It's an acrylic bowl, and then it's got these curved things, like the chip and dip things those uh, the ceramic ones have. And uh, it's got lips on it for, to put around the bowl, and then it's got four even smaller ones, and I guess you put them on those? I don't know, it's very strange. 209, is it something vintage that I should know about? Tell me in the comments. Um, so these will go around the outer part of the bowl, and then these will go around the those. But I don't know what it's for. 
and I can't find anything on it so and it's not marked so you let me know if you know what that's for I'm curious whatever it is I really don't need it oh that's a pretty lacquer something for a dollar nine for something it's a lacquer something what are these wildlife collection oh and there was something on those that it no longer exists and that bird tapestry is still here well, what color are you anyway well the price has gone off of it so that's out of the picture too let's see what we can find in the first miscellaneous aisle this is for a f no it's a shelf i thought it was for a flag i was wrong i was wrong uh, okay. Let's go. Here's a big rainbow. And the frog and the turtle are still here because there's still no price on it. So it is staying here. They are filling stuff, so let's stay here for a little bit longer. And that's a cool piece with a drawer. And, uh, I don't know. We'll give it a go for a little bit longer. What is under here? What is that? Is that a club? Oh, it's a club. Better watch out. Better not miss me. Look at that. I should keep that in my van. I live on the outskirts of Atlanta. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't make me use this. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though. We'll see. I'll put it in here. I'll think about it. I might need something like that, you know? All right, let's see what else they're putting up in the other areas. Here's the miscellaneous aisle number one. There's some costumes, some ghoul feet, a uh, paper towel holder, grasslands road. Oh, there's a Santa with a chip nose and a penguin. He's really crazed bad. Gifts that inspire. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Not gonna attempt it. And virtual reality headset. We have some gift bags, gift wrap, salt and pepper shakers. More Christmas. Waiting for some Halloween here. Need some Halloween here. And still one of those old yucky cat trees. Uh, he's not that great. Can't do anything with him. Jumbo chalk markers. Uh, false graph with like goblets. Another costume. Who is this? Got a lot of plate hangers, but those kill your plates. But at least those have plastic over them. Uh, horror, 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 Harlequin. Boy, that was tough. Real nine for the costume. So you could get some good prices on costumes here. I want an Easter egg. I want an Easter egg. What do we have here? This is, uh, don't know, but it's hairy. It's so hairy. It's so hairy. Oh, and it's got some false teeth. Maybe it's a wolf, but it's so hairy. Speaking of hair, <laughs> there's more hair. Yay. Let's see what these are. This one is, whoops, zombie cheerleader. And, oh, these are from Spirit, a uh, police officer. Get that part that fell down. Okay. Baby formula? Baby formula, okay. Here's a little container with owls and your plastic. Cute, cute. Tis the season to be spooky, but it's not, it's not all that great. Not that great, I'm not impressed with it. And uh, here's a here's a hairy tree, hairy tree. Man, I'm not seeing anything else here that's interesting enough to show you guys. So I think we're gonna move on. Okay, there's a little Pepsi Cola tin, and I think that's about it over here. Another costume and miscellaneous stuff.
so now she's tossing the stuff from the um, plate and dish aisle. Just tossing them into tossing them into a big old bin, probably to be destroyed. So I've been trying to get to the art, but I haven't made it all. How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? Real nine. If that was cheaper, I would have gotten it. That's adorable. All right, let's try to get to the art again. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, he's cool. 309. Um, I think I'm getting him. He's awesome. Looks like a cock cockatiel or a parrot. Looks like Majolica. Wow. A little coloring in the discoloring from age. All right, that's going in the cart. All right, this is a beautiful shelf for 609. I want to see if there's anything wrong with it. If there's nothing wrong with it, it's coming with me. Look at those lines. It's got those Art Nouveau type lines. All right, I'm going to see if it's okay in one piece. Okay, we're in the art. That's a nice piece. That's hand painted. And that's very pretty with the sunset and the birds. That's got beautiful colors to it. You are, you are 409. Not bad. That's very pretty. Beautiful colors on that. I'm just looking around here, seeing if there's anything I could grab, but it's being this is being worked on too, so I don't think I can show you guys much. But uh we'll try to go down here and look at some stuff. Oh, metallic waterfall. How cool. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And there's a double. There's a double one. I can't open it up right now. Let me try to open it up. Oh, it's got a flower on one side and a picture frame on the other side. And. They put out an owl. I don't know where it is. That's that one that's still here that's signed and numbered. And there was an owl. I guess somebody got the owl. There was an owl that they had in their cart to put out here, and I waited, and now it's gone. So I don't think it's here. So that's okay. I don't need it anyway. I don't need it anyway. I could paint my own. Um, and there's big ones here, and then there's a clock up there. You can see the clock. See the clock? I can't get to it. So, we are apparently done over here in the art aisle. Oh, maybe I could get there. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. Regulator. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I'm not going to touch it. Let's see what else I could show you, and uh, we'll stay here a little bit longer. And then we'll do a recap, and then I'm going to skedaddle. All right. You can't see, but I got the chills right now. I've been looking for pieces like this um, from this company because I used to do their art. We did their art in Jackson, New Jersey, um, bought ceramics, okay? And we had to learn, this one's got a lot of wear to it. We had to learn how to do her signature, um, Barbara Botts. We did all the painting and sign her name. Um, I, ha I have to get this because this brings back so many memories and I finally have a Botts ceramics piece. Um, we painted, they fired them and we painted them and everything they distributed them through a chicken coop in Jackson, New Jersey, an old chicken coop. And that's where I worked for a while. I was an artist that did these ceramics for Bot Ceramics. And I think they were in Macy's and all sorts of stuff. I finally got, I'm almost in tears. I'm almost in tears because I finally found a, I recognized the signature right away because I used to do it. I'm getting this piece. I remember the shape and everything. It was in the 80s. I was young. Um, but yes, I'm getting this for memory's sake. Um, that's great. That's great. I remember taking the brush and doing this. Yes. Um... I'm almost in tears. I'm remembering New Jersey. Um, I do I do miss home. There are things I miss about home. But yes, this is Botts Ceramics, uh, Barbara Botts, back in the 80s. And uh, it does have a chip. I don't care. This is a piece of my history right here. I did I did artwork. I did the me and the, like four other artists 
did the artwork for these. She didn't even do the artwork. They taught us, and then we just did, like, quota. We got paid by quota, so they'd give a whole, a whole tray full and everything. But, yes, this is an awesome part of my history and my life here in my past. So, yes, I'm getting this. I can't believe I finally got one. Yes. So, uh, this is cool. It's a strawberry basket. Um, I didn't check the name yet on it. I don't know if it's tele... Oh, made in England. Okay, 209. What can you say? It's got strawberries all around it. So I think that's going to be coming home with me as well. Very cute. Very cute. And here is a snowman mug that is um, apparently very happy to see me. <laughs> He's very, very happy to see me. So, I just wanted to show you guys. Oh my goodness, such bizarre stuff today. Look at this adorable mini tea set. Sugar and creamer set, international silver. Aren't they, no lid of course. The lids always disappear. Look at this little teapot. How cute, still has the stickers. Isn't that adorable? I wish it, I wish the other lid was here, but that's they're all separate. 209, 209, and 209. How cute though! I love them. It's adorable. They're still getting stuff off the shelves. It's it might be loud here for a bit. Um, this is an old Disneyland plate. Uh, I'm going to have to check that out. And then here's a polychrome plate. Very pretty scene on it. And that is Old English Countryside Johnson Brothers. That's 209 but not very popular. There's a Texas Blue Bonnet and Mockingbird. That's kind of nice. That's 209 as well. I'll put them back the way I saw them. Just wanted to share that. I think we're going to do a recap really soon, guys. It's getting very, very packed in here. Now, now it's time to go through the cart and see what I really need and what I want and everything and look up a few things. These are adorable salt and pepper shakers. They're kissing chihuahuas. Um, but there's a chip on the ear of this guy here. So I don't think I'm going to get them. I don't think that could be forgiven. That size chip right there. So, and they would have been 20% off of $1.39. And I love it because they have magnets and they kiss. They're so cute. But, uh, and I don't even know who makes them. I can't read under there. There's too much, uh, cellophane. There's too much cellophane to look. But, uh, they're cute. Oh, there's a chip on the other ear, too. All right, so we're going to put that back. Look how wiped out this got today. Look at all that. They keep putting stuff and stuff keeps getting taken. So we're gonna put them on the shelf. We're gonna put them back for somebody else. And uh, I'm gonna go through this stuff and see what I can and can't live without. I thought this was adorable. Mm. I'm gonna put you here for my sale. Pretty cute, it looks like a pair of overalls. Made in Japan. Oh, see, it's been repaired. So we're going to put that back over here where the blue is. And, and guys, just a word of advice. When you see a big YouTuber that you follow and you want to get into reselling, please don't buy stuff just because they like it and they buy it. Because what might sell great for them at a great price might not work for you. So please heed that warning. Don't assume that I'm not going to put names out there. But there are big YouTubers that are resellers and they do thrift with me videos. And just because they like it doesn't mean it's valuable. Um, and sometimes they get ridiculous prices for their stuff when they sell online and have an eBay store or on whatnot because they have a huge following and people pay way more than what the stuff is worth. Um, 
So you have some that's worth five dollars, and then you have people that are fans of theirs, and they'll they'll bid something up to eighty dollars. And you're thinking that you're going to get eighty dollars for it. You're not. You're going to get five dollars. So um, I just want to put that out there for you guys to think about. Get what you like. Get what strikes you. Get what get what catches your eye. And that way, sometimes if it's something you like and it doesn't sell, you can bring it home and keep. Oh, it wasn't me. All right, let me help this lady clean this up. All right, I helped that lady clean up her the thing that fell down. So I think we're going to do a uh, recap, guys. Let's go to the other side of the store. All right, everybody, it's time for a recap. I might end up putting some of this stuff back, but I'll research it afterwards. So these are like Possibles, uh, Owl Planter, the soap. Uh, pottery mug very pretty got a mug sale coming up pretty soon if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel hit that like button leave a comment under the video also pin for the first comment under the video is my playlist to all my thrift with me videos so you can binge watch if you like I also sell this stuff on my channel and also if you're interested in getting dibs on something you can email me if you're interested in something that you've seen in a video uh, just give me the timestamp and the screenshot in the email, and uh, we can work something out if I still have it. This little mason jar with the cat. Of course, this. I told you the story about this. I feel so happy about that. Another art pottery mug. I'm getting this for somebody special. Uh, this is great. This is the dog from uh, Despicable Me. He's awesome. And I'm getting this shelf. It's beautiful. I'm keeping it. I'm not selling it. I love it. Let me put this down here. Okay. Full card again. I'm getting the bird pitcher. Getting him. Put that down there. Uh, the cat and pumpkin window thingy. This is a handmade wool sea turtle and hand embroidered. So I'm getting him. I'm getting the club. I'm getting the, the club. I'm going to keep it in my van. I've come to that conclusion. I'm going to do that. Uh, I think I'm putting the strawberry basket back. It's just a teleflora piece. It's not England. I'm an idiot. I read that wrong. Uh, of course, I'm getting this for my collection. And, whoops, I'm going to get this mug. Somebody might want to get that. Um, I might be getting the peacock plate. Darlene said she liked it, so I'm going to pick it up. This is that uh, piece made to look old. The, uh, I forgot what it is. This is the Disneyland plate. I'm getting this because they comp really well. The bell mill, whatever they hold in them. This snowman with a pot on his head mug. Uh, the Sterling, Mark Sterling coasters. Uh, there's two of these dried flower votive thingy majiggers. So they're kind of cool. I think I might put them back. They're not that exciting. The flowers aren't that exciting. So I think they're going to go back. Let me put them out here to bring them back. Then we have this beautiful bowl uh, the stained glass panel which is always nice to have curious cats and kittens uh, activity and coloring book so of course I'm getting that and this awesome shadow box made out of oak very pretty the the rock collection specimens which I'm super thrilled about uh, this guy has a chip on his ear but he's the first thing I grabbed today he's resin he's not ceramic but he does have a chipped ear I want to see if I can work on that and repaint them this is what he looks this is what he looks like when you have him up top somewhere that's what he looks like and they cute so I'm getting him for myself so of course I'm overpaying but that's okay. And I think I showed you everything. I think I showed you everything. 
All right, so let me put these things back. And again, if you haven't uh, subscribed already, please do so. Hit that like, comment underneath, and uh, let me know if you're interested in anything. And I do have the sales of this stuff on my channel too, variety sales, they're usually on Sundays. I do sell other things like jewelry, craft supplies, clothing, um, all sorts of stuff. Check out my channel, guys. Just scroll down my homepage and you see my playlist of all the stuff that I do. So uh, until next time, See you on the flip side. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. See you soon.